Have you guys seen the new gemstone mousse from Dixie Belle Paint? The new mousse is a highly pigmented metallic that com currently comes in four colors. It's a water-based formula. I would compare it to a liquid leafing product with rich, creamy one coat coverage. For this resin jewelry box, I updated it using two coats of Dixie Belle Gemstone Mousse in Diamond, which is a silver color. With my two coats of Gemstone Mousse on, I went ahead and sealed my box in Dixie Belle Gator Hide. I just gave it a quick spray with my paint sprayer. You want to go ahead and seal the Gemstone Mousse before you apply the color wash over top because the paint over top and the rubbing can reactivate the Gemstone Mousse if it's not sealed. This is an extremely detailed box. It's made of resin and I want to go ahead and bring out some of these details in it. And so I'm applying a light brush of Dixie Belle Caviar. Caviar is a true black color and it's going to find all the low points in these moldings to really accentuate them for me. I'm just using an artist brush to apply my caviar, making sure that I get it into all the crevices of this piece. Once I've got a full coat of caviar, I'm going to take, go ahead and take a rag and I'm just going to wipe back the caviar paint. And you can see what this does, that it deposits the paint into all of my low points, but wipes away so that I have the clean silver exposed on my high point. This technique is called a color wash. I'm literally washing my piece in the color of caviar washing it over the top and then using my rag to remove it again. You can leave as much or as little paint on as you like. I like to wipe it away so that the tops of my points are clean and exposed in the silver and the black is left just in my very lowest points. Once I've wiped away just about as much as I can with a dry rag, I'm going to go ahead and take my rag and just mist it with a little bit of water to get it wet. And this is just going to remove any of the caviar that has started to set up and is more difficult to remove. This wet rag gives a really clean, nice application. I'm using the caviar paint for this, but another product that would work is also the Voodoo Gel Stains, or you could also use a glaze for the same technique. A lot of the products can do double duty. In this case, it really just comes down to personal preference and I like the richness of the paint in these crevices. You could also use a color for this. Imagine putting a contrasting color like a deep rich blue down in these crevices. Dixie Belle Peacock would be really pretty as well. Let's go ahead and repeat this process on the other side of our box so you can see it done all over again. Final step in this process, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of my Dixie Belle Gold Gilding Wax and I'm just going to apply it over the tops of my high points on this piece. My Gold Gilding Wax is just in a sample container, but it is the same formulation as the current Dixie Belle Gold Gilding Wax. I'm just using my fingertip to apply the gilding wax and I'm just hitting it at the very tops so that I have some nice contrast with the black in the low points, the silver exposed on the body, and then just a little bit of gold on the very highest tips of my details. I'm just going to continue my way all the way around this box, hitting all of the very highest points with just the slightest amount of my gold gilding wax. The gilding wax does dry permanent within 24 hours, but I did choose to come back and go ahead and seal my piece with just another coat of spray sealant um, just to seal this in so all my details are nice and protected. This was a huge update for this little resin box. These can be found at your local thrift store and they're great to update for a modern look. Doing this wash technique and then the gilding wax over top really brought all out all of the details that were kind of lost in this piece before. As always, you can find a link for all of the products that we use today in the description on this post. If you like this video, I hope you'll click the subscribe button. You can also find more Brush by Brandy on Facebook Instagram and Pinterest as well.